Hey guys, in this video, I will guide you how to use Tomcat in IntelliJ IDEA. You will learn how to add Apache Tomcat server in IntelliJ IDEA, how to deploy, run, and debug as a web application on Tomcat server in IntelliJ IDEA, and how to configure Tomcat server in IntelliJ IDEA. In this video, I'm using the following software programs. The development kit JDK version 8, IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate version 2020.1.2, and Apache Tomcat Server version 9.0. You can use the latest versions of these software programs. To use Tomcat Server in IntelliJ IDEA, first you need to add a Tomcat in the application server settings in IntelliJ IDEA and then you can choose Tomcat when creating a new Java web application project or choose Tomcat when running an existing Java web uh, project. Uh, this here welcomes a dialog of IntelliJ IDEA and you can see uh, at the bottom of this screen the configure uh, button here. Click it and click settings. This is a, a settings dialog and uh, go to the section view uh, execution uh, deployment and uh, application servers you see and click the plus button here to add Tomcat server add uh, application server and choose uh, Tomcat server from the drop down list and uh, we need to specify the Tomcat home to press installation installation directory on my computer I have the Tomcat installation directory here you see in uh, D driver Apache Tomcat 9 Apache Tomcat uh, 9.0.36 so in uh, IntelliJ I uh, specify the Tomcat installation directory on the driver Apache Tomcat, Apache Tomcat uh, version 9 as you can see here and click uh, OK that's it and click uh, OK and you can see uh, Tomcat uh, server appear in the application, application servers list in IntelliJ IDEA that's very simple how to add uh, Apache Tomcat server in IntelliJ IDEA and click OK Now I will show you how to choose Tomcat server when creating a new Java web project in uh, Welcome dialog here. Click a uh, button and create a new uh, project. And in the new project dialog here, choose uh, Java web application, Java enterprise here and web application here it was in uh, 4.0 here uh, you see and you can see in the application server uh, option here it uh, choose uh, Tomcat version 9.0 by default because we have uh, added a Tomcat server in the application server settings and click next and enter the project name as uh, my web app uh, finished and this here the Java web application will be uh, running on uh, Apache Tomcat server we edit the home page index.dsp here and change the title of the uh, this the home page to uh, my Java web app and in the body we have a heading tag h1 here welcome to my web app that's it for testing purpose a very simple Java web application and under the uh, section uh, external libraries you can see it refers to uh, ZDK version uh, 14 and Tomcat version 
9.0 Now let's run this uh, Java web application under Tomcat server From the menu run Run and You can see uh, Configuration uh, Tomcat 9.0.36 is chosen by default and click it IntelliJ idea will build the project and start a system cat server to deploy as a web application as you can see and it automatically opens a web browser to uh, Open the home page of the web application as you can see here a local host in my web app and by default uh, IntelliJ idea we uh, append this uh, suffix to the context part of the web application underscore or word underscore exploded uh, later I will show you how to configure this uh, how to change this context part but for now uh, just know that uh, Tomcat server is uh, running as you can see in the service view here and uh, under Tomcat you can see the web application uh, my web app here and you can see the um, Tomcat local host log Tomcat Catania log here the server output here and in this uh, Tomcat server in the service view you can start and uh, stop the server here click the red button here to stop uh, Tomcat and you can see uh, in the DJ idea uh, prints the message uh, disconnected uh, from the server when the server has been stopped and also, it prints the message connected to the server when the server has been started. And under the Tomcat here, you can right click to configure the server edit configuration. Here, here you can change the default HTTP port number, change the application context path here. You see. Now let me show you uh, we will be change the uh, contact path of the application if to remove the uh, word exploded here. Just my web app. Okay. Yeah. And you can also change the port number. For example, I change the port number to ATAT. Uh, and the context part is now just my web app click uh, OK and start the server again click the uh, green um, red button here to run the server so you can see IntelliJ idea makes it very easy and convenient to use uh, Apache Tomcat server to deploy uh, run as of our web application right inside the IDA, IDE connected to the server and you see it automatically opens uh, the web browser and this time you can see the context part is now just my web app and the port number of the server is 8080 and previously you can see the port number is the default 80 and the context part uh, appended with or explode perfect right So that's uh, basically how to use uh, Tomcat server in IntelliJ IDEA. Next, I will show you how to uh, choose Tomcat server uh, for running an existing Java web application. As you can see, I have the bookshop project uh, in IntelliJ IDEA. So I open it. You see a very simple Java web application. You see. And now let's run this the web application under Tomcat server. You can right click on the project and choose to project 
uh, uh, from the menu run check this option here run and uh, edit configurations here in the run debug configurations dialog click the add button here and from the list uh, choose uh, Tomcat server here you see choose uh, Tomcat uh, server uh, local and uh, change the name of this configuration to uh, Tomcat local and uh, port number is 80 URL you need to click the deployment here to deploy as a web application onto Tomcat server click the uh, plus button here artifact add artifact here and you can see by default IntelliJ IDEA we choose the project as the artifact to be deployed on the server as you can see here bookshop will explode it and you can click the uh, edit uh, button here to edit the artifact to change uh, the context part of the web application here sorry to uh, uh, update uh, the libraries the files directory and so on server okay that's it very simple and now let's run the application click run button here the server is being uh, started uh, successfully as you can see and IntelliJ IDEA automatically opens the uh, web browser the home page of the web application as you can see here bookshop and uh, the context path is abandoned with or exploded and you can see let's test this application and there's something wrong you can see invalid email or password I have logged in successfully as you can see look out and now here uh, you can stop the server here in the run view here stop the server and to uh, change the context part for this application to remove the default or, or exploded uh, added to the context part you can uh, so you need to show the Tomcat server in service view so you click the menu view on two windows uh, services here and click the add uh, run configuration type here and choose Tomcat server from the list Tomcat server and Tomcat server appears here in the service view and from this you can uh, configure the context part yeah, right click edit configurations and here in the deployment section you can uh, change the application context here to just uh, book soft ok server so, uh, you can see and then click ok and now from this service view you can start the server start So that's how to choose Tomcat server to run an existing Java web application in uh, IntelliJ IDEA. You can see it's very simple and easy. And IntelliJ IDEA automatically opens the web application. And this time you can see the context part is just bookshop as we have configured previously. It is appended with or exploded, which we want, we don't want. Okay, that's it.
Next, I will show you how to debug a Java web application running on Apache Tomcat server in IntelliJ IDEA. So I open another project existing Java web application uh, paper test, as you can see here. Okay. Now let's run this uh, paper test application in debug mode. Or run choose uh, debug here you see and edit configurations click the plus button here and choose tomcat server local here uh, deployment change the name to tomcat local click plus, plus button to add artifact to deploy in the web application you see and change the application context part uh, here that's it paper test port number 80 uh, that's it and click uh, debug and uh, IntelliJ idea we uh, start Tomcat server in uh, debugging mode to debug our Java web application but I haven't uh, specified any quick points yet so I specify a quick point here in this class uh, authorized payment subject I set a quick point here just click here to set a quick point and you can see this slide is marked in red in this indicating that the uh, IDE we stop execution at this line now you see uh, it automatically opens the web application paper test here and click check out and now in the IntelliJ idea it uh, stop the execution at this line and you can see the debugger debugging tools appear here and button here to allows us to step into um, step of uh, uh, if you are, are familiar with debugging tools in IntelliJ IDEA so I click that step over to go to the next line here or click the continue step over run to cursor step out here you can see in the left here there are also uh, some buttons for debugging click resume program okay so the application will uh, continue and uh, paper user interface uh, is uh, loading as you can see here So that's very simple. Uh, debugging a Java web application in IntelliJ IDEA is similar to run a Java web application. Just choose uh, run and debug. Very simple. And now let's stop this debugging session. Stop Tomcat local. To configure Tomcat server in IntelliJ IDEA, first you need to make sure that uh, Tomcat is appears in the service view and then you can uh, edit the configuration to change the HTTP port number and change the context path and various other options. Now let me show you. So uh, you need to open the service C view from the menu view to Windows services here and you can see Tomcat uh, does not appear in this view so we need to click the plus button here run configuration type and choose uh, Tomcat server from the list and you can see Tomcat server appears here in the service view and you can right click on the name of the configuration Tomcat local edit configuration here to configure the server and you can see you can configure the application server 
STDD port number, context part, and so on. Uh, for example, I change the uh, HTTP port number from 80 to 8080 and change the context part or to, to that paper here. Yeah. And also from this configuration dialog, you can uh, deploy one or more uh, Java web applications on this server by add artifact here. That's it and click uh, OK. And now let's start this server and it will be started in the new port number 8080 and with the new context part it is being started. And you can see now the context part changed to just paper and the port number is 8080. That's uh, what we uh, expected. So that's it. Uh, make sure that you add tokens to service C view and then you can edit the configuration uh, for the server. Perfect. So far you have learned how to use Tomcat in IntelliJ IDEA, how to add Apache Tomcat server in the IDE, how to deploy, run and debug a Java application and how to configure Tomcat server in IntelliJ IDEA. Uh, I hope you have found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment and share this video. Thank you.